Oi, oi, welcome to another week. We are still at the Eastern and it is 8.30, quarter to nine in the morning and we are starving. It is time for breakfast and today... <coughs> Can't breathe. And today we're heading to our very first Kopitiam of the trip. Now Kopitiam, the literal translation is literally coffee shop. And we are going there for some Malaysian delicious breakfast items. <laughs> I've defogged. It completely fogged up because the room in the hotel is so cold and it's obviously very warm and humid here. But we're now heading to our very first coffee town of the trip for breakfast. It's literally at the back of the hotel and it's called Why Ye Unique Cafe or Coffee Town Coffee Shop. And it's also right next to Queens Bay Mall. And if it's anything like any other kopitiam here in Chang, you're going to get where we're definitely going to be able to see things like chako dao, curry laksa, hokkien mee, ha mee, all the Penang breakfast classics. Very excited for this. Like jia, what yao? I've got wonton. Wonton mee. Put the chili. Oh wow. Is it good? That's really good. Is it prawny? Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, chili is delicious. Is it spicy? Sweet? It's quite I think it's got dried shrimp in it and it's not overly sweet but it's also not overly spicy it's just really rich and flavorful it's gorgeous it's so delicious go for it and then i can actually have the soup there we go because this broth is just beautiful Till the end. Mm -hmm. Is it better than my army that I make? He's gonna kick me out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then he did it So when I ask a question like that, the correct answer is no, it's not. <laughs> You'll understand when you try it. Hey, sorry. Wow. Enjoy your breakfast. Yeah. Yay. Okay, so this is going to be the first Asam Laksa of the trip. Okie dokie. Okay. So this is your first Asam Laksa of yes. the trip. Yes, yes. The first of many. I'm going to start with just the broth. Mm. Well, that's good. Not as hot as I was expecting. As in spice or heat? Spicy, yeah. It's not as spicy hot as I was expecting, but it's got that classic like sourness and oh, delicious. Okay. I've got a very important question to ask you, Leanne. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Disregard the fact that the woman who birthed you mm -hmm. is to your left uh -huh. and that she cooks you as a master whenever you ask. Uh -huh. How does this compare? Oh, With mum's awesome laksa. Mum's still better. <laughs> so mum's awesome laksa is better still. Yes. But my. <laughs> 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 but 
<laughs> Brutal, savage. <laughs> this is koi teo teng. Koi teo is the white rice noodle, the rice flat noodle. Teng is literally soup. So koi teo teng is koi teo soup. Even though it looks quite basic, you've got a chicken and pork broth but it is really enriched. They've been brewing that stock for ages. So it's rich, it's sweet. Oh, you've got pork balls, you've got like minced pork, you've got fish tofu, cubes, you've got chicken. But most important, you've got that dao yu or the soy sauce with that green chili paddy. This is going to be immense. Okay. Itadakimasu. Oh my god. That chili putty is spicy! Oh my god, that's amazing! Okay, here we go. This is pork ball. This is gonna be good bye. First, that's not like that. Yeah, that's The koi teo teng is sweet, it's lovely, and it's weird to eat something this hot and this warm um, when you're in such a warm climate. But the, the, I suppose the Asian belief is that if you eat hot foods, it's gonna make you perspire, it's gonna make you sweat. And by sweating, you're actually cooling down. That's the theory. But I have my kopi peng. Kopi peng, kopi is coffee, peng is ice. So, iced coffee. Now I'm on to the hami or the Hokkien mee. Now this is the one that Leanne disparaged me about. I'm gonna try this broth first. She's not wrong. But my ego can only take so much battering. So we have rice vermicelli, which is thin rice noodles. We've got yellow egg noodles or Hokkien mee. We've got some taoge or bean shoots. Thin slices of pork. We've got an egg. We've got little mini dried shrimp. Um, I, I imagine there was fresh prawns in here, but um, the two people who ate before me probably ate them all. Um, and there's also kangkong, which is um, um, like a water spinach. You know what? I would come back all this way just for this. This is really, really nice. And it's spicy. It's actually catching me at the back of the throat, which is brilliant. Now, this is Leanne's favorite thing in the whole wide world. Asam laksa is the one dish that she could eat for the rest of her life. So we've got thick rice noodles or laksa noodles. There's lots of lettuce, there's onions, there's obviously big pieces of fish, cucumber, mint, Vietnamese mint. It's fully loaded. Mm. Oh my God, that is really good. If you like seafood, you're absolutely gonna love this. Mm. Oh my God. Okay, this is a good one. This is truly a good one. Now I'm onto the konomi or the rice noodles coated in this delicious soy, dark soy, ABC, all mixed together. What, did I say egg noodles? Oh, I meant egg. I meant egg noodles, thin egg noodles. So we have a little bit of the preserved um, jalapeno chilies, a bit of the char siu, and a bit of the choy sum, the green veggie. The perfect bite. That is the flavor of my youth. Growing up, we come and stay with my uncle, um, who you met last um, last week at the Kun Thai dinner. Um, but we'd stay at their place, and every morning, grandpa, grandma, and I will wake up early and we'll go to the to the to a little kopi tiam near their house, and we would always buy konomi because they knew that this was my favorite. And this kind of brings back that taste of nostalgia for me. And that's almost. That noodle almost has that very alkaline, back of the throat taste to it, which I absolutely love. This is so good. And a bit of wonton. Mm. I can leave my tissue here. Yeah? Come here.
Welcome to the crib. Hey. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. It's a big ass mess. Um, looks like a tsunami's hit this room. The views, not ocean views, but it looks over the residential parts of Bayan La Paz. Um, I imagine a lot of people who are staying at this hotel because of the businesses and the factories and the international um, facilities and institutions that are around the Bayan La Paz area. Um, we are staying here only because we are hop, skip and a jump. Our family actually lives somewhere in this residential estate and that's why we're staying here. This is our first night in Penang so we wanted to, to spend time with the family and that's why we chose this hotel. Um, this afternoon we're going to go and have lunch at a dim sum dumpling place um, and then after that we are starting our official relaxation holiday. We're heading to a childhood dream hotel of mine. I'll talk all about it when we're in the cab or in the grab or in the van, whatever we organise. Um, for now we're just going to relax and then at 10 o'clock or 10 a.m. when all the shops and supermarkets open here in Malaysia, we're gonna hit Queens Bay Mall, we're gonna do some retail therapy. I saw some Dragon Z, Dragon Ball Z t-shirts that I desperately want. Mark, being a little more boring, wants to buy multivitamins and some isotonic drinks. Um, so for now, see you around. Had an awesome, awesome couple of hours at Queens Bay Mall. Leanne, Brody, Mark, and I just strolled through, went to every shop. We didn't realize that places open at 10:30 here. We thought places open at 10, but it's 10:30 in some of these department stores. But we um, discovered our love for Foz. What is it? Factory outlet store and Brands Outlet and Uniqlo. The designs here that you cannot get in Australia. So this color, this variety, this anime, love it. So we're holding off from doing a lot of our shopping till we get to KL in a few weeks. Um, but for now, we're at home, um, at home, back at the Eastern Hotel in the room. We have another like 30 minutes before we have to check out. Um, and my aunt actually dropped off some moi or um, porridge, um, rice porridge. And I think she made chicken porridge um, and dropped it off for Mark because with his um, abdominal situations, he can only eat um, rice, anything with no gluten, no sugar, no flavor, no worth life. Yeah. So she's dropped that off and being my incredible aunt, she brought these little pancakes, although up on Balex. So I love these. These are pillowy, pillowy deliciousness. Um, from what I was told, that normally I only like I only like kacang, which is peanuts. But I believe that there's kacang and baby corn here. Yes, we eat baby corn as a dessert in Malaysia. So, itadakimasu. Mmm, no, mm -mm, no. Banana. This one is banana. Mmm. Oh. This is so good. Let me open this up for you. Oh. Seriously yummy. Mmm. This is a light enough snack after that delicious breakfast we had um, at the Yi Unique Cafe or Kopitiam. Um, absolutely love that hami or that Hokkien mee, the, um, that, that spicy noodle soup. That was spectacular. And the Asam Laksa was actually really, really good as well. When you read a lot of the reviews about that little Kopitiam, you don't hear much about the Asam Laksa. But after tasting it, that Asam Laksa needs to be notched up a few of the rung because that was really, really good. Now, just so you know, Asam laksa is made with tamarind and fish. When most of you from the West think of laksa, you're probably thinking of curry laksa, which is a coconut curry based broth, which is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about asam laksa, which is fish based and tamarind based. And it is, I think one of the, I want to say top 20 or top 30 best dishes in the world voted by some 
food group. I don't know who. The gonlun mee or the wonton mee was so yummy, seriously. And that that fried wonton was delicious. And then that soft wonton in the soup, oh my god, so silky and smooth. I'd probably say for me, the biggest disappointment was the koi tiao teng because that broth could have been a little sweeter. But the ingredients were generous. There was a lot of um, pork balls. There was a lot of fish tofu. There's, it was lovely in terms of ingredients, but the flavor probably could have done with a little bit more zhuzh. Okay, so we need to finish packing up because now, not long before I have to check out.